Kids and teachers have been through a lot this past year and a half, and parents may be reconsidering what kind of education and, and environment would work best for their children. Our sponsor, Distinctive Schools, has programs designed to help each child become an engaged and curious student in a nurturing, positive culture. We love all that. We are joined by Cassie Williams and Chandra Battle. Welcome to the show, ladies. Hi, Cassie. How are you? Thank you. Good well, morning. It's so good to have both of you. So, Cassie, let's start with you. Tell us about distinctive schools and what makes them different. Absolutely. So, as you mentioned in your intro, um, we are absolutely committed to making sure that every child that we support and teach becomes an engaged and curious learner, a confident self-advocate, and creative problem solvers by setting high expectations and nurturing a positive culture that honors diversity, collaboration, and optimism. We currently have four campuses in the Metro Detroit and each school is unique, but just as joyful and full of love. Um, we are distinctive and Sharanda, Principal Battle is gonna talk a little bit about our education model and how we teach, but we're distinctive because of our emphasis on personalized learning and social emotional learning. All right. Now, Sharanda, I'm going to ask you this question. We've heard about the many challenges that students and teachers will face this fall. What is the approach to teaching at distinctive schools? Absolutely. Um, this year, as everyone knows, has been unprecedented. We keep hearing that term. But our approach to teaching and learning is a personalized model. All of our students have access to high quality standards aligned curriculum which is geared towards students' ownership targeted at their own pace. So that's one thing that we pride ourselves on. Each of our students has what's called a learner profile. And by identifying how they learn, when they learn, and what modalities they learn best in, we also use that alongside their personal strengths, their goals, and motivations, and align that to their grade level curriculum, as well as infusing learning that they haven't been um, able to master yet from previous grade levels. I think that's one thing that a lot of parents and families are most concerned about now being that students were remote. And so we just want our constituents to know that we will be paying close attention to where the students are as learners and then moving them along at their own pace. Um, we also monitor student success and progress with our curriculum. Uh, weekly with different instructional tools and modalities to make sure that their performance continues to grow. Um, and that process that we use is called learning acceleration. And it's basically a method where we continue to just infuse targeted standards one at a time alongside their grade level curriculum. Oh, wow, I love everything that you're saying, especially when it comes to how kids learn and keeping up with it. Like, let's monitor this every week, not one report card every several months. You don't even know what's going on. But I have another question for you. What is the community like and how do you support your students? Our community is one that um, is full of love. As Cassie said, we pride ourselves on joy um, and just being in, in an optimal environment. And so for us, pride means problem solving, responsibility, integrity, drive, and empathy. And we do make sure that we incorporate each one of those characteristics throughout the daily experience of our students. We host empathy interviews with not only our students, but our parents and staff as well. We conduct home visits. We've gone and passed out technology. We provide transportation. We uh, make sure that our students have meals throughout the course of the year, including summer months. We also have a curriculum that is focused on social and emotional learning and health called Move This World. And then rather than removing our students from school and classes when they've made a mistake or they've made a bad choice, or an inappropriate choice. We try to make sure that we use our restorative practices mm. uh, so the students learn from their mistakes as opposed to simply being penalized and punished for them. I love it. I love all of it. I want to go back and be young and go to you guys' school. So... <laughs> you can always come volunteer. We welcome you. I would love that. So, Cassie, I have one last question for you. What does the experience there offer families and staff? So I think in addition to our personalized learning for our personalized model for our students, we also personalize how we interact with our families and with our, our staff. 
we will do whatever it takes to make sure that everybody feels welcome, included, and a part of the family and the team. Now, we work hard. We work very hard, but we also go out of our way to support each other and not just support and develop our, our relationships and develop our staff, but we also work to celebrate, too. We think that um, you cannot grow. We cannot really say that we're achieving if we're not stopping and celebrating along the way. So that's how we do that. This is wonderful. Thank you both so much for being with us and sharing all of this great information that I'm sure so many people are going to find helpful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Distinctive Schools has locations in Harper Woods, Redford, Plymouth, and Flat Rock. They are holding a virtual open house on, or open out, I should say, on July 10th. To learn more about that event and enrollment, visit the website distinctivemi.org. Again, that's distinctivemi.org.